This is the expected frequency calculator for MassCelebrity.com. To get there, you just type expected frequency. So we've got three entry points on this calculator, and the first is your confidence percentage, or 1 minus alpha. And you don't have to enter a percent sign, we do that for you. So if alpha is 5, your confidence percentage is 95. Next is your column titles. So these identify the items in your contingency tables. And finally, you enter your contingency values. One per row, separated each item by a comma. So when you're ready, you press expected frequency. So the first thing we do is just put your entries in tabular format. So here's your column headers and then here's your contingency values. Next we get the totals for each of the rows and columns. We do these in colors and I'll show you why in a little bit. Step two is we calculate the expected frequencies for each table cell. And what that is, is it's the sum of the row of the cell you're on. So in this case 21 times the sum of the column of the cell you're on, 30 divided by the grand total of the table that you're in, 75. So in this cell, we're going to take sum of row 2, column row, times column row 2, column sum row 2, divided by grand total. So this is the table of the math. And then we show you the answer. So the next step to do is take all the values from your contingency table, the raw data values. And that's your observed value. Your expected value is the values we calculate in these cells here. Next, is we take the absolute value of the observed minus the expected. And finally, we take that value squared divided by your expected value. And then when that's done, we sum up the last column's values, which in this case is 6.624. Now, 6.624 here is your test statistic. So we calculate the degrees of freedom and we, that's found by the number of rows in your table minus one times the number of columns in your table minus one. So in this case four. We calculate our chi-squared critical value based on a five percent alpha and four degrees of freedom. We also show you how to do this in Microsoft Excel if you don't have a table of chi-squared values available. And finally, we draw our conclusion. So because our test statistic is not greater than our critical value, our hypothesis holds. We cannot reject. But if it were, we would reject. And it would say that here. So that's pretty much it. For the contingency values, you can enter as many values as you want per row. But the values have to match the number of columns you entered. So that's it. If you have any questions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.